welcome back guys um in this video i'll be walking us through how to host a website with a local hosting company e.g qservers.ng okay qservers is actually one of the um one of um the most reliable hosting companies we have in nigeria so i can recommend them um even myself i don't have an account with them so i just want to create an account with them and i think this should be um an avenue for me to create this video so that you guys can also um have something to fall back on if at any time you want to host your website with a local hosting company so um you know with the way things are going within the country not many people would be able to um get their hosting with foreign companies foreign companies like namecheap which i'm using for myself um hosting bluehost and several uh, several um hosting company foreign hosting companies like that so there's need for us to start embracing all these local hosting companies so and by the way the local hosting companies i i think their this thing is even um cheaper it's cheaper especially when you are getting the dot com dot ng um websites so i will quickly be working us through how to go about that now particularly using qservers dot ng so i'll be jumping right um into my browser now to show us how to do that so what you want to do now first is on your browser URL bar, type Q servers. I think I even have it there. Q servers. Let me type it out. Q servers dot ng. This way, then you hit the enter button. Okay. Once it loads up this is um like a promo pop-up you close it so once it loads up i guess we want to register so we should come here manage accounts it should come to manage accounts so from there we should be able to register afresh so we click on um register this way click on register then you input your details your personal info your billing address additional required info so make sure you are able to fill in everything necessary so i'll be pausing the video right now and um i'll be filling mine out because like i said earlier i don't even have an account with them so i just want to create because i might be getting um some domains and might be needing to host them very soon so i'll be pausing the video right now to just quickly carry out this step so guys i'm done filling out the necessary details so right at the bottom of the page and your password make sure your password is um it has a combination of a capital letter small letters and um alphanumeric just for short like that it has sign and something like that so um if you want to opt in for their mailing list i think this is good because you might have to get some um emails concerning their promotions so i'll be leaving it on then you check this recapture i'm not a robot then there are terms of service we don't even really read this <laughs> So then you hit the register button. Let me see. Okay, 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 save. Okay, this is the client area, I guess, the members area. So we are good to go. 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 So the next thing you want to do now is to check for your domain name if it's available then you host it with them 
you check for your domain name if it's available then you host it with you host it with Q servers so as simple as that you can actually get your domain name from any hosting company the major thing there is hosting the domain name hosting your website you need to host it like I exp like I explain explained earlier you need to host it like I explained earlier your hosting is like um, getting a plot of land hosting companies are like real estate company your website is like the house you want to build so you need you need um, a hosting plan for your website and the hosting plan will depend on the size of your website so you can at the beginning start for with a starter pack then as your business grows you can um, you can go for the bigger pack or package so that's how it is guys now you click on domains we can say register a new domain let's say register a new domain then you search for the domain name you want to use so like I said earlier I'll be getting a domain name for myself not just not for myself particularly but for my business my store so let me say oh this smart store dot okay no let me let me check dot com dot ng but let me begin from dot com i know dot com is usually expensive oh this master dot com you click on search so the dot com dot ng is, is usually cheaper as you can see so you are getting this domain name i'm getting this domain name for ten thousand four hundred naira um, per year that's annually for one year how long do you want to register for this so it has to be is even per per year that's annually so that's for the dot com 10,004 let me check for dot ng search let's see I think the dot com dot ng is usually cheaper, but dot ng is as expensive as the dot com. I think the network is probably from there. Okay, this is it. All this master dot ng, you can get that for five thousand naira per year. That's yearly. You can get it for five thousand naira, and these are other suggestions. Um other suggestions you can go for which is still going to be dot ng so in fact i should be able to get the dot com dot ng here let me see how it goes okay let me not waste much time so now let me see what the dot com dot ng would look like search this is five thousand dot ng dot com i think the dot com was ten thousand four ng 5000 now dot com dot ng as you can see that's a thousand naira for one year a thousand naira for one year so you can go with this it is cheap at least to begin with you can go with this so these are other variations of the dot com dot ng as you can see so once you're able to decide which domain name you want to choose then you scroll down to in this case I'll be going with this first and I'm, I'm actually not purchasing it now I just want to use it as a walkthrough video so you scroll down all the way down then you hit the continue button this way then this is it now for you to get your domain name you have to um, you have to get a hosting plan as well so you can't you can't have it in mind to to build a house without planning to get a plot of land or many plots of land as the case may be so the hosting plan is just like the plot of land i've been able to secure this address now which is my website address now i need to host the website on on uh, with a hosting company and on a hosting plan so now it's telling me oh, oh this master dot com dot ng for one year has no hosting click to hard as you can see so then you click 
it takes you to the hosting plan page as you can see these are the hosting plans you can choose another category this is linux web hosting wordpress hosting vsd so that's just it but let's go with linux now these are the packages this is the starter pack now the nera monthly you can decide to pay it monthly and you can decide to pay annually so this is the starter pack these are the things it includes five subdomains unlimited mysql unlimited email accounts two two gig web space okay this is actually small two gig is actually small you can still make do with the 10 gig 10,000 mega um, megabytes that's 10 gig yes this is still good 10 subdomain so we should be going with this business pack that's for 15,000 annually then 1,005 you can decide to pay it monthly you can decide to you can decide to pay it annually so it depends on how you want it but I usually go for the annual payments plan so let's just click on this it will be added to the cart that's coupled with the domain name we added to the cart the other time so as you can see it says use the domain already in my shopping cart yes of course this is it or this master then you click on continue this way so we have the summary page first product selection business pack this is it choose bidding cycle let me select annually semi annual annually is 15000 let me save annually 15000 okay this is for the okay it has been refreshed total due today is 16125 naira so this available add-ons please just leave it out if you are not a web developer just leave it out so we are done on this page now then you proceed to continue you can decide to view it in your cart but let's just continue so this is the total we are paying 16,125 it's the continue button now it brings us here now it's telling us that we have hosting as hosting oldismaster.com.ng for one year has hosting compared to the other time that was telling us no hosting so now we just leave it this dns management so you can just this is um for the add-ons then you click on it like this dns management since it's free that's the domain name server click on it then you hit the continue button this way now we are on this page the checkout page review and checkout so you go over everything you have um, added to your cards then you scroll down to the bottom of the page so where you can select your payment method either pay stack or this we should be going with the pay stack then once you are done you click on i have read and agreed to the terms of service then you check out you click on the checkout button so once you come here like this this is your invoice you are ready to pay you are ready to pay and you can just go over your details again as you can see invoice item description the amounts everything so you can select your payment method here for pay stack let's just make do with um pay stack so you can scroll to the bottom of the page to confirm other details
so this is it this is it so I'll be clicking on the pay now button now I'm going back to the top of the page so here yeah, now you can click on the pay now let's see how it goes I'm actually not purchasing now but I'm, I'm very sure it's going to take me to the payment gateway to make the payments let's see yeah as you can see so you can actually transfer let me see these are their payment options you can transfer to their Wima you can use USSD let me see bank transfer you can choose which bank then you transfer to them so that's just the way it is choose any of these pay stack payment method and credit their bank um their um account number that's pay stack um Q server's account number so once you make the payments they are going to receive it then you just follow prompts it should be an easy thing anyway it should be an easy thing so i think that is that and i'm very sure once you are able to make the payments your domain name will be allocated to you and you'll be able to be redirected to your um to your what's it called to your client's area that's your dashboard where you can further do many other things like having access to your c panel where you'll be able to install your wordpress so if you watch the last video on um how to host your website using nameship i think you should be able to get everything about about that you should be able to do that so guys that will be all for this video and that's just the simple process to go about hosting your website with um, a local hosting company like Q servers so I'll be ending the video right now I remain Ulushola Daniel do have a great time guys